Have you ever heard of a single family home costing $1.5 billion? This piece of property is known as Asia's most expensive home per square foot. And would you believe it if I told you the man who owns it was once rejected from working at KFC? Well, since then, he did create the popular platform Alibaba. And although you can buy nearly anything on there, including a house, you won't be finding his $1.5 billion listing on the site. Jack Ma co-founded what is now one of the world's largest e-commerce businesses in 1999 while he was living in a tiny apartment with his wife in Hangzhou, China. Now the man owns not only that Hong Kong mansion, but also a nearly 30-acre property in New York that used to belong to the Rockefeller family, while his wife Zhang bought multiple shop houses in Singapore for around $40 million just this year. Jack Ma, born in 1964 in Hangzhou, China, is a total rags-to-riches story. He grew up in a modest family. His parents were traditional musicians and storytellers, which didn't give him a wealthy upbringing. From an early age, Ma was very curious and had a strong desire to learn English. To improve his language skills, he would ride his bicycle to a nearby hotel and offer free tours to foreign tourists, which helped him practice English and gain a broader perspective on the world. Ma's academic journey was not smooth sailing though. He failed the Chinese entrance exams for university twice before finally being accepted into Hangzhou Normal University, where he graduated with a bachelor's degree in English in 1988. Despite his degree, Ma faced numerous rejections from various jobs, including a famously unsuccessful application to KFC. Before founding Alibaba, Ma worked as an English teacher and international trade at Hangzhou Tianzi University. In 1995, he visited the USA for a government project and was introduced to the internet, where he was shocked by the lack of Chinese content online. Ma saw an opportunity first launching a company called China Pages, a directory of Chinese businesses. but it didn't succeed. Unfazed, Ma gathered 17 friends and launched Alibaba from his apartment in 1999. The vision was simple yet revolutionary, to create an online marketplace where small Chinese manufacturers could connect with overseas buyers. Despite the initial struggles, Ma's perseverance paid off. By 2003, Alibaba had launched Taobao, a consumer-to-consumer -consumer marketplace that eventually outcompeted eBay in China. In 2014, Alibaba made history with a record-breaking 25 billion IPO on the New York Stock Exchange, cementing Ma's status as one of the wealthiest and most influential figures in the tech industry. When Ma founded Alibaba, he was living in a quaint apartment with his wife. But as Alibaba grew, so did Ma's wealth and investments, especially in real estate. One of his biggest purchases was a lavish property on the peak in Hong Kong, which he reportedly purchased for HK1 $1.5 billion, setting a new record for the most expensive home by square foot in Asia. A few years back, Jack Ma was reported to have bought Asia's most expensive home per square foot at $1.5 billion HK, which equates to about 200 million US dollars. Located on the peak, a luxury area in Hong Kong, Jack set a record when he scooped up this real estate. Ma paid HK $150,000 per saleable square foot for the four-story home, making it the second most expensive residential property in the world after a property in France. The mansion on Barker Road was originally built in 1949 and renovated in the early 2000s by the late local architect Carl Xu Kai Lung of KLS planners. Ma purchased the home from the former CEO of the Hong Kong Stock Exchange and his wife. The home was actually given an extensive makeover, which can be seen in the before and after photos. The peak is the neighborhood surrounding Victoria Peak, the highest point on Hong Kong Island at 1,811 feet tall. For over a century, the peak has been Hong Kong's most exclusive neighborhood, and until 1947, residency was restricted to the British and Europeans. The affluent initially settled in this area for its cooler climate, which was a nice break from the hot and busy city streets. Despite Hong Kong's density, the peak feels like a world away, with winding streets and lush greenery, which also gives seclusion. The views from this area are unbeatable. Security at the peak is exceptionally tight, barbed wire 
fire tops many fences. Security guards are stationed in guard houses at the entrance of every apartment complex, and homes are set far back from the road behind large gates. Often, houses and apartment buildings are so deeply set into the mountain and away from the roads that only the gates are visible. Before Ma bought the luxury property, the former owners gave the place a makeover after buying it from the Belgian embassy in 2000. The renovation was considered the designer's proudest masterpiece and took two to three years to complete. Using building materials from overseas and custom made furniture, transforming the historic home into a modern classic building. The mansion features four ensuite rooms, three bathrooms, seven living rooms, four large balconies and a rooftop terrace, offering residents a 220 degree view of Victoria Harbour. Next to the house is a 20,000 square foot private garden which includes a lawn and a small forest. Xu applied traditional Chinese feng shui in designing the interior. This turned into a blend of Chinese and Western styles with satin sofas, folding screens, black and white checkered floors, and elegant ceiling to floor curtains. Around the same time that home was reportedly purchased, Jack Ma also bought an impressive piece of land in the USA, a New York property spanning over 28,000 acres acres that once belonged to the Rockefeller family. Ma purchased the expansive land in the Adirondacks for $23 million, and it boasts thousands of trees, several trout streams, and a maple syrup workshop. The land Ma acquired is part of William Rockefeller's Bay Pond Nature Reserve, which had been on the market since 2012. According to the Wall Street Journal, the estate features hills, forests, lakes, over nine miles of the St. Regis River, a 1940s logging camp, two homes, and a horse stable. At the time of purchase, Ma planned to keep the estate, known as Brandon Park, as a nature reserve, but will also use it as a retreat from his busy life in mainland China. More recently, in 2023, Jack Ma's wife, Zhang Ying, who wed the tech tycoon in 1988 after graduating together, bought a roll of shop houses in the Tajong Pajar area of Singapore for a reported $40 million USD. She purchased the properties, which together span over 10,000 square feet of space. Song also reportedly bought a bungalow in the city state's Victoria Park area for $40 million. That fully detached home was later demolished to make way for a more modern luxury house. The row of shop houses Zong purchased can be converted into a development with restaurants on the first floor and offices on the second, third, and mezzanine floors if desired. That'll wrap up today's house tour. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't. I'm Kara and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.